international message from World Theatre Day. The celebration of World Theatre Day was held in Paris this year. World Theatre Day was created in 1961 by the International Theatre Institute, ITI. It is celebrated annually on the 27th of March by ITI centers and the international theatre community. On this day, the 27th of March, we celebrate theatre's magical ability to create visions, to reconcile opposites, and to use dialogue on stage with cleverness and passion to change people and, in doing so, to change our world. Here, now, today, in 2007, as we celebrate World Theatre Day in the heart of Europe, with Your Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed al Qasimi, member of the Supreme Council of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Sharjah, and with experts and dignitaries from your country and from the Arab world, we may also see this in the light of the symbolism of this day as an expression of the bridges that we are building between the Arab world and the Western world and between the African continent and Europe. One of the most important themes of World Theatre Day was the circulation of international message through a figure of world stature. President of International Theatre Institute Manfred Bellars cordially introduced honored guests of ITI to read this year's international message. His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed al Qasimi said in the international message that he has faith in the power of the theater, in the theater as an instrument of unification through which man can spread love and peace. <laughs> Invited as a special guest of UNESCO, the Supreme Master Ching Hai graced the celebration with their presence and praised His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi for his compassion and advocacy for supporting theater activities. Uh, we want the world to know about you and your compassionate work and your passion about art. We really, it's rare that a king do this. You know, in the whole world, how many kings do this? Huh? Tell me, how many? No! Only one! <laughs> Just tell us your feelings about why theater is so important in the world today. Well, the, the theater is more important for our uh, part of the world because we need the theater to teach the people the way of democracy, the way where that they can speak and dare to speak. And now we are having a sort of revolution in the theater, everywhere. And we are supporting all the theater, not only among the Arab world, but also on most of the countries, like uh, third world uh, countries. So for that, we are assisting and standing beside many theaters. So thank you very much. Thank you. All the big names in the theater community throughout the world gathered together to talk over related issues and speak as one voice for the significance of World Theatre Day. Well, it's a special uh, way of uh, drawing attention to the importance of theater in the life of any nation. While it's happening here in UNESCO, every country has a gathering of their own artists focus on the same thing. You really have a synergy uh, kind of uh, dynamism of everybody focused on it. Privilege that uh, the Philippine experience of using theater for uh, caregiving, cultural caregiving, reaching out to the vulnerable groups, the differently able, the street children, the indigenous youth, other children in difficult circumstances, even the elderly. I'm a theatre director and opera, and I also work for the BBC as a producer in drama and documentaries. 
we've almost forgotten in the West that theatre can be a tribune. You know, it's a place where people can say things which aren't al allowed elsewhere because theatre's not just about the word. It's, it can bypass the censor. It can actually speak from the heart the truth to bring reconciliation and peace, really, to the world. It's much more powerful than people realize. Today is the great day in UNESCO. I performed before here. It's a great day for the theater, for the people, for the mind people, for everyone. That's why I'm here. Everybody is very sad these days all over the world. So people have to know what is going on. By the theater, by the expression, by the literature, we can express ourselves for all over the world. His Highness Sheikh Sultan, Dr. Sheikh Sultan has been given the, the privilege and the honor to deliver the theoretical uh, speech, which is uh, it's a big success for the Emirates. I'm proud, uh, but at the same time, I've received the message of uh, theater and the arts and how we should work together in harmony and peace. But I think today the message uh, and the determination is much, much, much far than before, and I think I will put more efforts, maybe ten times more just to be able to uh, honor this achievement that we have as a, as a UAE national and uh, one, uh, from this, uh, one from the Arab world and especially from the Gulf area. So His Highness is your king of Sarja? His Highness, yes, he's, he's uh, the ruler of Sharjah, one of the seven emirates. Well, I find it very, very beautiful, very powerful that a king, a ruler of a country, makes theater important to bring peace. That's so beautiful. That's so needed in the world. I was very, very, very much touched and I was, felt very proud. And I thought, gosh, what we do, there's nothing to what he's doing. I mean, he says, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit capable with financial, but not only that, I am heart and soul with you guys. So, uh, yes, I agree with you, madam. I mean, I think uh, for him to take time and to look after this, it's excellent. Hello, Supreme Master Ching Hai. It's good to be there and I can say Shishi. It's Piao Yang Supreme Master. <laughs>